function something on pavement design so calculation of vertical pressure okay so I have a question here which goes this way a concentrated load of 1000 kilonewtons is applied at the at the pavement service so we're going to calculate or compute the vertical pressure at the depth of 4 meter below the load we also going to calculate the distance of 3 meters that is the pressure at a distance of 3 meters at the same depth at the same depth which is 4 meters so the distance of 4 3 meters at the same depth so we're going to use person x equation so this is the person x equation so the pressure at a given hc is given by q which is the load and divided by c squared you, you multiply by ib so for you to get the value of ib you have a formula which goes this way that's for the person x equation so 3 pi you divide by 2 pi multiply by 1 you divide by 1 plus r over c squared then everything in bracket you raise to power 5 over 2 so when r r over c is 0 as at the service so in this question here the concentrated load now applied at the pavement service so at the pavement service at that o 4 meter below the load so this distance so meaning at the service we have the we have the value of of r at the service being zero so zero you divide by c which is four to be zero that's r over c is the same as zero so substituting in this equation will remain with three pi you divide by two pi so everything here will be zero so ib will be 3 over 2 by so substituting here ib will be 3 over 2 by which will get 0 0.48 so for you to calculate the value of vertical pressure at this this uh, the height 4 meters we're going to multiply uh, 3 over 2 by is the ib multiply by this here yeah, so substituting uh, this formula plus next equation particle pressure is, is given by q over c squared or and you multiply by ib so you already have the value of q being 1000 and then the value of c is 4 meters ib you already have it here ib is 0 0.48 so going to substitute everything in this equation so the value of vertical pressure at that depth is the same as 0 0.48 you multiply by q is the load you divide by 4 squared at c squared so you're going to get the value of vertical pressure being 30 kilonewtons per meter square so part b is supposed to calculate uh, the vertical pressure at a distance 30 meters at the same depth so three meters now so this will be the radius so we're going to substitute we already have so at the same depth meaning the value of c here is four and then the distance which is the radius is three so substituting in this equation here yeah. r is the same as three meters by four so this one will not, will not be zero this time round so you're going to add one plus r which is three you divide by c which is four and you square everything in bracket you raise to power 5 over 2 and you divide by the, what you call here so we had, we had already 3 over 2 pi being 0 0.48 so you're going to multiply 0 0.48 pi 1 you divide by the other you get here so this one will be r was at r was c is 3 over 4 0 0.75 so you're going to multiply this 3 over 2 by and multiply by 1 or 1 plus r over z which is 0 0.75 squared everything in bracket is to power 5 over 2 so you're going to get 0 
five six that for the IB. Okay, <clears throat> so our IP is zero point one one five six. So zero point one five six now you multiply by Q over C squared. So you, you substitute the equals next equation here. This the equation is the vertical pressure at that depth, which is three meters, is the same as Q, which is the load here, the load one thousand. Divided by c squared c which is 4 meters because uh, we are told it's uh, the standard which is 4, 4 squared and then you multiply by the value of ib we got which is the value of ib here is 0 0.156 so you multiply 0 0.156 by 1000 you divide by c squared which is 4 squared so uh, the value of vertical pressure at the distance 3 3 meters is 9.8 kilonewtons Per, per meter square and this is the answer so thank you for watching for more make sure you click the subscribe button thank you